Welcome to Massive Beers. My name is Matt. We do beer stuffs here, and we're going to do a little bit of uh, Sweetwater Mosaic. Yeah, this is their single hop hazy IPA. This comes courtesy of Sweetwater. Um, it is a 6.2% mosaic based hazy IPA. Trout. That's yeah, trout, right? It's a rainbow trout. It's a rainbow trout. Mm, there you go, man. I cannot wait to go fishing with my son. Like, I just can't wait. Um, actually, it's been forever since I've gone fishing, but um, he's, that's all I used to in my life when I was younger until I found out that I liked women. And then I didn't fish as much. Um, but I can't wait to actually do that with my son. It's going to be pretty awesome. But anyway, um, yeah, you're talking about a 6.2% um, mosaic-based hazy. Hazy, not that hazy, though. A little bit of kind of like old school hazy um which kind of i like uh it says fish for a fish hashtag on here let's see if that means anything i don't know if they actually talk about it don't float the mainstream fish for a fish i don't know maybe that's some kind of initiative they do i i don't know i don't know catch and release seasonal and it's got a best buy date on it not a big fan um I will tell you that I think almost all their beers have a five-month Best Buy data that comes per my boy Ralph, who worked for uh, Barrel Monks. He reached out to one of his buddies that worked there, and they said, yeah, it's pretty much like five months. So if you're talking about five months, deducting two off of this, that brings us to the new year. You know, it's only about a month old, so not too shabby. So label is all right. Not the best art design, but let's see what's what. Uh, Beer-wise... Um, Nice head on it, kind of a soapy, uh, not super fluffy, creamy kind of head. Getting a little bit of that with the kind of swirl on there. And like I said, that is like pale ale, almost like old school, new school kind of pale ale kind of hazy on it. You can, you know, you can see the kind of my finger go through there as far as a light goes. So it's it's very lightly hazy by today's standards, but it looks quite tasty. Nice, rich, call a little bit deeper than straw. It's a good nose. That smells awesome. To be perfectly honest with you, like really awesome, like super bright, summery style. But at the same time, you get a little bit of a greeny kind of weediness. You get a little bit, maybe I'm just hoping, hoping for a little bit of cattiness, a little bit of garlickiness in there. But it's bright, it's summery, it's light. There's a lemony uh, portion to the citrus, you know, obviously a citrus portion here. Uh, it is hazy IPA, but it leans lemony and it's very bright. Kind of want to dive in. Cheers, y'all. So, here's the deal. If this was four, three and a half, four percent, I would buy this in gallons. But it's 6.5. It's very tasty. It's very bright, very summery. Comes off with that big lemon pop to it. Nice citrus to it. That, that, that little bit of resinous, garlicky dankiness is quite nice. Nothing here is overpowering. It's definitely lemon slash citrus leaning. That's where it's kind of, it lives. Mouthfeel. Is not going to be confused as, as a blind beer. I wouldn't be like, oh, this is a big, lush, hazy IPA. It comes off with a bit of density, but nothing too crazy. Um, it's not going to be called thin, but at the same time, it's not going to be called, like, a silkiness. But, man, it has all the tent poles of a bonkers, well-done, ultra-low ABV hazy. It's just at 6.5. You know me and my soapbox when I get on these beers and I want them to be like super low ABV. This one just kind of just uh, jumps the shark a bit there. And while it drinks, great, super tasty. A summer crusher, which actually kind of like is tickling my fancy right now, being that we are in the throes of the beginning of what we call winter here in the Northeast. I mean, you know, Thanksgiving is less than a week away. Buffalo just got six foot of snow. We've already had snow on the ground here, so this kind of brings me back to summer a little bit, which is a very, very cool thing for this beer to do. But in the grand scheme of things, I just want low ABV to be lower, but you put this in my hand at any time, I do not push it away. I think it's ultra tasty, ultra fun, and a really tasty, well done beer, man. Just, you know, it gives me a nice old school hop application vibe with some definite new school tendencies while at the same time being ultra drinkable like i said the only complaint i have here is abv realistically i think this could be easily be five sub five but i know breweries that have done beers like this sub four 
and that's where I love them. So yeah, super tasty. Dig it. Love it, Sweetwater. Thank you very much for sending it off. Very fun beer. Um, so there you go. Let's talk about it. Sweetwater, what's, what's your uh, what's your dilly, yo, when it comes to these guys? Have you had their beers? Have you been to the brewery? I know they've been around f for quite a long time. Uh, let me know. Have you had this particular batch, this particular beer? Um, like I said, the code on this one is February 18th, 23. If you have down there, let me know it's what. There you go. Reviews in the books. Hopefully you guys enjoyed Um Hopefully you're enjoying a nice summery beer in the throes of late fall, early winter. Hopefully see you next time. Cheers, y'all.